hello third grade today for reading we're going to be talking about topic sentences so let's go over and talk about topic sentences so just as we talked about the day before in reading when we talked about our main idea our topic sentence is going to have the main idea inside so this is a sentence that expresses the main idea of the paragraph so our topic sentence lets us know what are we going to be talking about so here, our paragraph goes, I am so clumsy, today before school, I tripped over my daughter's shoes. After I noticed my socks did not match, then I bumped my knees on the kitchen stool, and as I tried to catch myself, I stumbled and fell to the floor. As I hit the floor, my juice went flying, and I hit my elbow on the floor. I feel like a complete klutz. So now we're wondering, what is the topic sentence? What is the main idea? Well, this whole paragraph, we're talking about how she was stumbling, she was following, falling, her socks didn't match. We're talking about how she was clumsy. So our topic sentence would be, I am so clumsy, because that's what the whole paragraph is about. And then, at, this is our topic sentence, then the rest is just giving details about how she is clumsy. So being clumsy was our main idea. And then later on, we're given details about how she was clumsy. So just like this, the topic is how she is, I am clumsy, and the other sentences are describing what is happening. They're giving us details about how she is clumsy. So now let's do another paragraph and let's go over finding the topic sentence. So in this paragraph, we see water is so good. Water helps the plants and trees grow. Water is something that humans cannot live without. It is refreshing on a hot summer day. Water is very important. So what is this whole sentence about? It's about a paragraph. It's about water. And we're talking about how water helps things, how water is so good. So this would be our topic sentence. And then all the other sentences are giving detail and explaining why water is good. So this is our main idea, our topic sentence, water is so good. And these sentences give us details about why water is so good. So what we're going to be practicing today is reading a paragraph and deciding what sentence does not belong and support our topic sentence. So what we're going to be doing is reading the paragraph. One sentence does not support the topic sentence in bold. Remember, this is our topic sentence, so everything down here should be going into detail about why this topic sentence is true. So we have to choose the sentence that does not belong. Fishermen use more than just fishing poles to catch fish. So that is our main idea. That's our topic sentence. That's what this paragraph is about. Some fishermen lower a trap into the water to capture the fish that swim inside. So again, they're talking about how fishermen use more than just fishing bowls. They also use a trap to catch fish. A fisherman can also catch fish by throwing a giant net out into the ocean. So again, they're talking about a trap and a giant net. So again, those go with our topic sentence because they're talking about different ways to catch fish. On land, nets can be used to catch animals like butterflies. But if we look back at our topic sentence, we're talking about catching fish with things other than a fishing pole. This is talking about catching land animals, but that's not what our topic sentence is. And then some fishermen even dive into the water with arrows called spears to catch fish. So this last sentence is talking about how fishermen can use spears to catch fish. So when we look back at our main idea, our topic sentence, we're talking about how fishermen use more than just a fishing bowl to fishing pole to catch fish. This sentence right here is talking about catching animals on land with a net, but we're not talking about animals on land, we're talking about fish. So this sentence right here doesn't match. So as we look through each paragraph, notice this sentence in bold is our topic sentence, our main idea. Everything else should be giving detail about this sentence. This sentence does not match our topic sentence, so it doesn't need to be in the paragraph. So take time after you read each sentence, go back. Does it go with our topic sentence? Does it match? Does it belong in this paragraph? And then if it doesn't, you can just click on it, crosses it out, 
and then you continue. So take your time reading and remember our topic sentence, our main idea is what the whole paragraph is about. These sentences are giving details about our topic sentence. All right, have fun and I will see you tomorrow. Bye third grade.